Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Red, the Charmander playthrough. In the last episode, we went through Victory Road. And, yeah. In this episode, we are going to take on the first two members of the Elite Four. Now, you can see that I trained off-screen a bit. My Pokemon's levels are a bit higher than usual. Um, yeah. I did train a lot because I was feeling really, really uh, insecure about my Pokemon's levels. But yeah. I mean, the strongest Pokemon can get in the Elite Four are level is the strongest is level 63. I'm not going to spoil whose Pokemon that is, but uh, anyway, um, it's been a while since I recorded. Um, that's because my microphone broke and I spent a long, long time trying to acquire another one. Yeah, hence the audio quality of the last few episodes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, the first member of the Elite Four will be Lorelei. She basically looks like a really scary school teacher and trains Ice-type Pokémon. But there aren't very many Ice-type Pokémon in this game, so... <laughs> Yeah. She has... She mainly has water-type Pokémon, which is, which are actually really easy to defeat if you have uh, an electric-type or a grass-type. I have Vile Plume, my lovely grass-type Pokémon. So, um... Let's battle. Welcome to the Pokémon League! I am no liar the Eight Four! No one can mess me when it comes to icy Pokémon! Freezing moves are powerful! Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid! Ha <laughs> ha! Are you ready? That was a horrible voice that I probably should never do that ever again. <laughs> but anyway, Lorelei, trainer of ice type Pokemon, scary school teacher lady. Yeah, she will open up with Dugong, a uh, water ice Pokemon. Yeah, it has the moves Rest, Aurora Beam, and that's all I recall. Uh. Yeah, I went to the Pokemart earlier, and I picked up some battle items to use in the Elite Four challenge. <laughs> um, mainly X items, but also re HP restoration items. Yeah, they will they will be really really useful. As you can see, I've been using X specials, so, uh... Oh, give me a second, I'm about to sneeze. Um, uh, my... Jezebel's special stat has gone up a lot, and... Oh, crap, I got a critical hit. Which means that all of my... Haha, <laughs> you're asleep. Anyway, I use a lot of X specials, which means, uh... Jezebel's special attack stat has gone up astronomically... And it's special defense stat. So, yeah. It can basically take any hits that my opponents dish out, and it can deal a lot of damage. I'm actually qu I'm quite curious as to how Jezebel is outspeeding. Uh, how Jezebel outsped um, Dugong, because I thought Dugong was faster than that. Anyway, her next Pokemon's going to be Cloyster, a really, really good physical tank. However, its special stat leaves a lot to be... Uh, well, its, sp its special stat is bad. It's a uh, water ice type, and again, a good grass type move can easily destroy it. Anyway, next Pokemon's going to be Slowbro, a really good physical tank. It is a water psychic, has access to the move Amnesia, which... Um, Sharply increases its special stat, which makes it really, really good. However, the downside is it is slow. Yeah. Hence the name. Captain Obvious Away! 
And her next Pokemon's going to be Jinx, it is an Ice Psychic that is actually kind of fast and has really good special attack, and it resembles Nicki Minaj. It is scary. Nightmare Fuel Man. <laughs> oh look, I accidentally underestimated it, and it's using Ice Punch. Did, this, did about the same amount of damage as Aurora Beam did. Anyway, I'm going to use Petal Dance to finish off Jinx. Kapow. And her last Pokemon's going to be Lapras, which has really good HP and really good defenses, if I recall correctly. But, and its Water Ice type, as most of the other Ice types were. But yeah. That is the end of the battle. Yes, I'm better than she thought, and I should go on ahead, because I only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power, blah blah blah. But yeah, that is the end of Lorelei. <laughs> when I think of Lorelei... No, I probably shouldn't sing. Sticks. Lorelei. Anyone? Just me? Okay. Second, I'm trying to do something. Oh, no, no, you should not do that. No. Uh, sorry, my computer's been acting up a bit. <laughs> anyway, here is the second member of the Elite, fl uh, elite Four, not Elite Floor. <laughs> this is Bruno, the Fighting Type Master. He also has two Onyxes. If you have a Grass Type Pokemon, that can easily dispatch those Onyxes. And a good Flying Type Pokemon can destroy the Fighting Types. So yeah, let's battle Bruno. <laughs> I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with po my Pokemon. Rely on. We will grind you down with our superior power. Ooh, ah! <coughs> that was, that was horrible. I probably should never do that. Ever again. <laughs> anyway, Bruno, Fighting Type Master, opens up with Onyx. Jezebel is going to be really useful in dispatching those Onyxes, thankfully. Mega Drain. Kapow. The first Onyx falls without a fight. <laughs> and Jezebel will go up a level. How I knew that, don't ask. I'm just that awesome. Anyway, next Pokemon's going to be a Hitmonchan. And that's where Dodie comes in. This will be Dodie's time to shine. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Now, this is Hitmonchan, really bulky f physical attacker. And this is, next thing is going to be Hitmonlee, a really fast physical attacker. Not as fast as Primeape, as uh, YMCA, but still really fast. And the next Pokemon is going to be Onyx, I'm going to have to switch out to Jezebel again. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> gonna destroy the Sonix. It's gonna be fun. Gonna drain its power like a vampire. Ah ha ha! Boom! Jezebel wins again. <laughs> and the last Pokemon he uses is going to be Machamp. Really bulky physical attacker. Basically, the first generic fighting type Pokemon ever. So yeah. Which has four arms. Oh, look, it tried to use Fisher, but since I'm a flying type, it doesn't work. I'm gonna use Tri Attack here to finish off Machamp. Boom, victory. This is probably really boring because you were probably looking forward to actual struggles against the opponent, but I'm just that good at Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, that concludes um, that battle. And the next opponent is going to be a very estranged lady. Ooh, haunted house music. Yes, this is Agatha, the poison slash, uh, the poison and ghost member of the Elite Four. Her Pokemon are really speedy and specialize in, um, well, Poisoning your Pokemon, putting them to sleep. Basically, she's a strategic powerhouse. 
However, I believe Forthon should be easily able to dispatch her. Oh, you make it to the elite four. No, Oak, Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong. Pokémon not for fighting. When I on, I'll show you a real, a real trainer fights. Yeah. I really should stop doing those voices. <laughs> like kill my throat. Oh my god, she looks evil. <laughs> and this is Gengar. Ghost poison really fast, really good at uh, special attacks. However, since there are no ghost type moves stronger than Lick, and poison is a physical attack in this game, I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure that I will be able to easily dispatch this thing. Anyway, Gengar used, uh... Hip uh Gengar used Hypnosis. That's what this team is basically all about. Putting you to sleep and then, um... And then, basically, trying to... Um, this team is about putting you to sleep and then... Using Dream Eater, which will suck out your health. It's basically like a psychic type mega drain. Anyway, her next Pokemon is going to be Golbat. Scary! Scary! Kill it! Kill it! Full time! Kill it! Oh great, you got a critical hit. Yeah, it's kind of fast and can use wing attack, which I like a lot. But it really is kind of pathetic. You can easily dispatch it. <laughs> So yeah, next Pokemon's going to be Haunter, basically the pre-evolution of Gengar. It's weaker. <laughs> Not much to say about this thing. <laughs> anyway, with ease I shall dispatch Haunter. In this game, Haunter and Gengar do not have the ability Levitate because... Um, abilities have yet to be introduced. Anyway, her next Pokemon is going to be Arbok. Which isn't very powerful at all. Basically, if you have a Pokemon that is fast and knows to move Earthquake, you can easily dispatch this team. <laughs> so yeah. Arbok has been defeated. And thus, the last Pokemon will be Gengar. A level 61. Not bad. This one's just a powered-up version of the last Gengar. But yeah. That takes down Agatha. <laughs> I really was hoping for a bit more of a challenge against the Elite Four, I'm sorry. I guess my strategic powers... My strategicness is a bit too much for these silly, silly people. Anyway, the next battle will be against a certain powerhouse. Hopefully I'll have a bit more of a challenge against this fellow. He is the Master of Dragons, one of the greatest trainers to ever walk the Earth. He is... Lance, the Dragon Master. Oh, I heard about you in Ion. I read the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokémon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well... Are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon League challenge ends with me or Nyon. This is Lance, the Master of Dragons. Yeah, his first Pokemon will be Gyarados, one of the most powerful Water-type Pokemon ever in the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually surprisingly good at taking special attacks. And its attack stat is amazing. However, one well-aimed electric type attack can destroy it. Anyway, the next Pokemon's going to be Dragonair. For the rest of the battle, I'll just be trying to do something rather vague. And I have YMCA here. This will be YMCA's time to shine. The first thing I will do is give it a next speed. Knowing this Dragonair, it'll try to paralyze me. Oh, it'll use agility. Well, 
Guess who's doomed? I'll also use an X attack. GLD again! You must really want to be fast. Another X attack for you, YMCA. <laughs> Agility again. Oh. <laughs> and I will use my X accuracy here. And now I will use Rock Slide. And the Dragonair just keeps on using Agility. I don't know what's with that. Seriously, what is with that? <laughs> Anyway, I will use strength just for the heck of it. And oh yeah, the the Elite Four uses items. Well, Lance uses items because he's like one of the best trainers in the history of everything. But most of the other most of the other Elite Four members they do not use items at all. Anyway, next Pokemon's going to be another Dragonair. Basically, just like the first, it'll try to paralyze you and get its speed up. Apparently. I'm not entirely sure why that last uh, Dragonair did that. Must be as stupid as Light Screen Electrode. <laughs> I'm gonna be milking that for all I can. Next Pokemon Aerodactyl, Rock Flying, really fast. However, YMCA's Rock Slide, I believe, will make easy work of this Aerodactyl. That's why I, the reason why I used an X Accuracy was in order to increase. YMCA's accuracy so that it would not fail with uh, using Rock Slide. Anyways, last Pokemon, Dragon Knight, the first pseudo legendary Pokemon ever. The f the first generic, powerful Dragon type Pokemon. It is a Dragon flying, really powerful, really fast, really defensive ish. It only gets powerful later in the game. In later games, when it acquires the ability Multi Scale in the Dream World. <laughs> But anyway, it is, however, I believe Rock Slide will be able to make quick and easy work of it. Yep, I defeated Dragonite. I'm sorry, this has been too easy. I wish I could make it harder. Ugh. Anyway, I'm a Pokemon Master, apparently. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Nyon. You're now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Steven. He beat the Elite Four before you, Steve. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Well, shoot, I thought I was Pokemon League champion. Jerk. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to fight our silly old rival now. <laughs> He's really strong, actually. Anyway. We just need to kick his butt like we have many times before. <clears throat> hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Renayon. My rivals could, should be strong to keep me sharp. While I was working on my po while I was working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now I am the Pokemon League champion. Renayon, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful po po powerful Pokemon trainer in the world. So we have to fight our rival. We just need to kick his butt like we have many times before. And he gets a cool jacket, man. His first Pokemon will be Pidgeot, level 61, really fast, kind of powerful. A well-placed electric type attack should be able to take it down. <laughs> But, unlike the other Elite Four members, his team doesn't base itself around a certain type. He uses his team that he's always had, sort of. Anyway, his next Pokemon will be Alakazam. Really fast, really powerful, especially. Um, I'm going to use Pin Missile, see if that does anything of use. Come on. Shoot. And he's going to use Reflect, which will increase his team's defense, and I'm trying to use... Well, shoot. Alakazam has really low physical defense. But with Reflect, it basically covers up that weakness. Anyway, with that, unfortunately, V falls. No! V! Anyway, the next Pokemon I shall send out is Dodie! Come on, Dodie, you can do this. Point to the Psybeam, blah, blah, blah. It's 
probably gonna want to KO Doty because let me tell you, Alakazam is really powerful. Critical hit, come on! Well, I wanted a challenge, looks like I got it. Um. Jezebel, I choose you. Jezebel has the highest, uh. special stat of all my Pokemon. Maybe it'll be able to do something? Come on, Jezebel. Yes. Pedal dance. Do something of use. Nope. Not gonna do that. Shoot a forest star. Come on. And you're gonna use psychic. Yeah. Great. I am screwed. <laughs> Most of my really useful Pokemon have fallen. Excalibur, I choose you. You're really fast. You should be able to do something. Slash! Slash was always a critical hit, so... Hopefully I'll be able to... Yes! Good job, Excalibur! <laughs> Saved by the opponent's stupidity. Anyway... His next po his next Pokemon will be Rhydon! Uh... Ground Rock. Really defensive? Kinda powerful. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, actually. I'm gonna have YMCA use double team. Yes! I know now I'm gonna use dig. Horn drill! Oh, crap. That's one hit KO attack. That's gonna do a whole lot of... That... That would just KO YMCA with one hit. That would be horrible. <laughs> but yeah, with that, I destroy right on. And thus, YMCA grows to level 61. Next Pokemon's going to be Arcanine. I will not switch Pokemon. Arcanine is a really powerful fire type. Kind of fast. Really high attack and special attack. It's basically a legendary Pokemon in its own right. Hmm. Why do you have Leer on a Pokemon that's level 61? I mean, seriously. Well, anyway, YMCA takes down that. And his next Pokemon's going to be Exeggutor. And I'm going to see if I can take it down with Forthon. <laughs> the mighty blood god, Forthon! First Sword Stance. I want to try something out. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Well, if he uses items, I'm allowed to use items too. And thus, Forthon awakens. And it turns to full health. And thus, Executor uses its, uh, strong, its, uh, signature move, Barrage. <laughs> <laughs> Flamethrower, fourth on. That takes it down a bit lower than half. All right. So, uh, are you done? Gonna flamethrower this executor, and the opponent has only one Pokemon left. Yay! So, what is this last Pokemon, you ask? Well, he saves the best for last. He saves his starter Pokemon. And for the sake of nostalgia, I'll use my starter Pokemon as well. It's level 65. Really powerful. But anyway, I'm going to have Fourth on use Earthquake. See if that takes it down a bit. Ouch. It's going to use Withdraw. Withdraw? Why do you have Withdraw on a level 65 Blastoise? It should at least know like something like Iron Defense, maybe. Anyway, I'm just going to use Blizzard. I don't think that's a very good idea, personally, but hey, it took out Forthon. <laughs> so, um, Excalibur, I choose you. I shall take out Blastoise with Excalibur, and with that, with my mighty sword, I smite the mighty... Turtle, apparently. And I am victorious! 
No, this that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become the champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Oh, don't cry, Steve. Yeah, yeah, he never made any mistakes raising his Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Darn it, I'm the new Pokemon League champion. Woo! Though I don't like to admit it. And guess who comes? <gasps> it's Professor Oak! So you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League champion! You've thrown up so much into your first lap with Charmander! But Nyan, you've come of age! Steven, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beat the Alley 4. But when I got here, you had already lost. Steven, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with a little trust. I love. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. But now, do you understand that your victory was not just your own doing? The bond you shared with your Pokemon is marvelous. When I am, come with me. And thus, Steven turns away in shame. Ahem, congratulations, Renai, on this floor's the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Renai, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Renai, you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Heck yeah, and thus... V the Jolteon. Woo! YMCA, the mighty primate. Excalibur, the Scyther. Woo! Dodie the Dodrio. Ah, it just looks badass. Vote on the mighty blood god. Looks like a, looks kind of like a donkey. Jezebel, the vile plume, looks evil. Lovely. And thus, Renayon Zreen takes down the Pokemon League champion. Pokedex rating. I still need more Pokemon. Try to catch other species. No. And thus... The credits! Director Satoshi Tajiri. Well, I'm gonna say, thank you so much for watching this LP. It's my first LP ever, and I'm really, really nervous about it, but... It was lots of fun. I, I really did have a lot of fun. <laughs> And, yeah. Um, I thoroughly enjoy nicknaming all my Pokemon, giving them different personalities, uh, and commentating. I know that a lot of it had real low quality, and some of the episodes had no commentary because my computer was acting up, but really, really, thank you so very much. <laughs> this has been a marvelous LP, and I'm probably just repeating myself, but thank you. A lot. Yeah. And this is not my final LP. It's it's my first, but it's not my last. I have a different LP in mind, in which I travel to the Johto region. So, heck yeah, not Pokemon Gold, but I'll probably do something like a Pokemon Crystal. Or, I don't know. Well, something at least. And maybe, just maybe, um, I'll do an LP of a Kirby game, because this website that I'm using has a Kirby game on it. Well, multiple Kirby games, I'll probably be LPing one of them. <laughs> but yeah, the end. That's it. Fare you well.